Have you ever wondered if the trees in your backyard or the flowers in your garden are more than just passive organisms? What if I told you that plants might possess a form of consciousness, a way of thinking, feeling, and even communicating that challenges everything we thought we knew about life? For centuries, humans have viewed plants as static, unfeeling beings. But groundbreaking research is now suggesting that plants might be far more complex than we ever imagined. In this video, we'll explore the controversial and fascinating idea of plant consciousness. We'll dive into scientific studies, ancient wisdom, and philosophical questions that force us to rethink the boundaries of intelligence and awareness. Are plants sentient beings? Do they experience something akin to thought or emotion? And if so, what does this mean for how we treat the natural world? Let's embark on this journey together and uncover the hidden world of plant consciousness. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence for plant intelligence is their ability to communicate. Studies have shown that plants can send and receive chemical signals through the air and soil. For example, when a plant is attacked by insects, it releases volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, into the air. These chemicals act as a distress signal, warning nearby plants to prepare their own defenses. Researchers at the University of Missouri have demonstrated that when a plant hears these signals, it can produce toxins to deter predators. But it doesn't stop there. Plants also communicate through underground networks of fungi known as the wood wide web. This mycorrhizal network allows plants to share nutrients, warn each other of threats, and even support weaker plants. This level of coordination and cooperation suggests a form of collective intelligence that rivals even some animal societies. Could this be evidence of a rudimentary form of consciousness? Or is it simply a sophisticated survival mechanism? The line between instinct and awareness is blurrier than we think. Did you know that plants can learn and remember? In a groundbreaking study published in the journal Ecologia, researchers found that the Mimosa pudica plant, which curls its leaves when touched, can remember whether a stimulus is harmful or harmless. When dropped repeatedly in a way that didn't cause damage, the plant stopped reacting demonstrating a form of habituation, a basic type of learning. Another study by Monica Gagliano at the University of Western Australia showed that plants can remember light conditions and use this information to adapt their growth patterns. These findings challenge the traditional view that memory and learning are exclusive to animals with brains. If plants can store and recall information, does this mean they have a form of cognition? And if so, how does this reshape our understanding of consciousness? Could consciousness exist without a brain? These questions force us to reconsider what it means to be aware. While the evidence for plant intelligence is compelling, the idea of plant sentience remains highly controversial. Critics argue that plants lack a nervous system or brain which are traditionally seen as prerequisites for consciousness. However, proponents of plant sentience, like biologist Stefano Mancuso, suggest that plants might have an entirely different way of processing information. Instead of a centralized brain, plants use decentralized networks of cells that function like a distributed intelligence. This raises profound questions. Is consciousness a universal property of life manifesting in different forms? Or is it a unique phenomenon tied to specific biological structures? Philosophers like Alfred North Whitehead have even proposed that all matter has some degree of experience, a concept known as panpsychism. If plants are sentient, what ethical responsibilities do we have toward them? Should we reconsider practices like deforestation or industrial farming? The implications are staggering. Long before modern science began exploring plant intelligence, ancient cultures around the world revered plants as sentient beings. Indigenous traditions, such as those of the Amazonian tribes, 
speak of plants as teachers and healers with their own spirits. The Hindu Vedas describe plants as possessing chetana, or consciousness, and emphasize the importance of living in harmony with nature. Similarly, the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle believed that plants had a vegetative soul, capable of growth and reproduction. These ancient perspectives align surprisingly well with modern discoveries, suggesting that humanity has long intuited the complexity of plant life. Could it be that science is finally catching up to wisdom that has existed for millennia? And if so, what can we learn from these traditions about our relationship with the natural world? Perhaps the key to understanding plant consciousness lies in blending ancient insights with modern research. So, do plants think and feel? The answer depends on how we define consciousness. If consciousness is the ability to perceive, process, and respond to the environment, then plants certainly qualify. But if it requires self-awareness or subjective experience, the question becomes far more complex. What's clear? is that plants challenge our anthropocentric view of intelligence and awareness. They remind us that consciousness might not be a binary trait, but a spectrum, manifesting in countless forms across the web of life. This realization has profound implications for how we treat the natural world. If plants are sentient, even in a rudimentary way, then our exploitation of them takes on a moral dimension. Perhaps it's time to rethink our relationship with the green beings that sustain us. What do you think? Are plants conscious or is this just a poetic projection of our own minds? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's continue this fascinating conversation.